Hi, my name is Mike Houston. I'm a product line manager with Bot Stopper in charge of commercial dimming. I want to talk to you a little bit today about digital lighting management and the dimming and daylighting functions that we've got built in. All right, now I'm going to turn to my demo and I want to show you some real world applications or, or uses for, for why we would use this. The first thing I want to point out is since this demo is for our, our sales and rep use, what you're going to see is this five game keypad. I don't consider this ideal, but it's got all the products I need to show you three really important scenarios. So I'm going to show you those scenarios. The first one, we're only going to use the three dimmers and the scene switch. Okay, so we're going to block these others off. So basically we've got three dimmers and a scene switch. I've gone ahead and bound this dimmer to my cove lights. So I'll turn it off and you'll see the cove lights will turn off. I've bound this dimmer to my down lights. These are my down lights. And then what's left is the sconces, so this dimmer is bound to the sconces. Okay? So that's the basic setup of this situation that I'm showing you now. Okay, so what do we have? We're controlling three zones in four gangs, and we have four scenes that we have access to. Why would we go with this route? Well, one, this is the traditional route. This is what I call the old school way. Okay, it's the traditional way we used to do it. We have a dimmer for each load, and then we have a scene switch. Okay? Why do we do that? Well, for one, it's the easiest individual zone control with light level indication. It is very easy for me to see what my light levels are. I can clearly come over here, put my sconces at 50%, ramp them up to 100. Really easy to see where they are. It's also the easiest way to set scenes. So for purposes of this demonstration, let me just adjust these light levels so that I'm at low, medium, and high, right? Now, to save the scene, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the top button on my scene switch for five seconds. I don't count very well, so you'll watch that LED on the scene switch, and in five seconds it'll start to blink. And when it does, I've saved my scene. Okay? So when I turn this off, and I hit scene one again, what you're going to see is the loads will be recalled to that scene that I just recorded, low, medium, and high. That's why I say it's the easiest way to set scenes, okay? Because I really believe it is. So it's the easiest way to create scenes, the easiest individual zone control with light level indication, and you have some flexibility in the control location. Some of the other people on the market who make dimming systems make these nice four gang box mm -hmm. dimming systems that will handle some of them up to six loads, a couple of manufacturers up to eight loads, but they're, most of them are in four gangs. They do have individual zone control. To access it, you have to flip up this cover and then go adjust those. I don't know how many times you guys have seen those in a classroom. I haven't. And even in conference rooms, it's not very often that someone goes and flips up the cover and adjusts individual zones. Okay? It can be done. People don't often do it. The other thing that some of them have that I don't think is quite ideal is they have four scene buttons and an off button, but they don't have a raise lower. And I think the raise lower is very important. For instance, in this scene that I've got this low, medium, high, maybe I just think that's a little too bright. All I have to do is press and hold my down rocker here on my scene switch, and I'm going to proportionally lower every load that was on. Okay, so I can take that scene and just lower the whole scene. It's a really useful feature for me. But we don't have to do it that way, and I want to show you the next scenario that I think is even more powerful. So in the next scenario, I'm not using the dimmers at all. Okay, in fact, I haven't even installed dimmers. All I've installed in the space is this four button switch and this scene switch. Now, what do I have here? Out of the box, I'm controlling four zones, four scenes, in two gangs. So we've cut the size down. I mean, we're down to two gangs. This is pretty good. The other thing that I really love about this, it's plug and go. It's out of the box, okay? You can also use an eight button switch here. You can replace this with an eight button switch, as you'll see on the, on the PowerPoint, and now I have eight zones, four scenes, and two gangs. Is this a big deal? It is to me, because as I said before, some of these four gang device guys, the biggest ones go eight zones with the power in the wall device, not going back to a panel. But they do it in four gangs. I can do it now in two gangs. They will tell you, yes, but I can adjust each zone individually. In this setup, how do I set scenes? I want to show you that. It's a, it's a, a unique feature that we've put into this that I think is very powerful. The first thing that's exciting is this is true plug and go. Okay, I haven't I haven't configured this these two uh, devices here. This is out of the box functionality. And as you learned in the previous module, 
Loads get assigned to buttons in a one-to-one -one relationship. Load one, button one, load two, button two. I have three loads on my demo, and I have four buttons. Load one, it got assigned to the cove lights. Button two, got assigned to the down lights. Button three, it's assigned to the sconces. Button four, I only have three loads. It blinks at you, telling you, yes, I'm here, but you haven't programmed me to do anything. I want you to know I'm here, but I haven't been programmed. Okay, so that's great. We also know that we have four default scenes. Now, yes, we played it and, and did a new scene one, but we have scene one. I can go to scene two, which is everybody at 75%. I can go to the bottom scene, which is everybody down at 25%. They're already there. I didn't do any setup. This is huge. This is really powerful. An out-of-the-box, plug-and-go, four-scene dimming system. Okay, that's, that's really, really powerful stuff. Now, they'll tell you that well, how do you set the scene? How do we set the scene? Because we have to adjust light levels. So we built a feature in here called Active Dim. I'll put it up on the screen. So here it is. Retain individual zone control by using Active Dim. It's a double tap action. Let me show you what it looks like. If I double tap this top button called Cove Light, what you're going to notice is the Cove Light LED and the Rocker LED are both blinking. This goes on for five seconds unless I start to operate the Rocker and then it will extend by two seconds every time. But basically what that's telling you is for that five seconds, for the duration of that blinking, this Rocker, this dimmer, will control just the Cove Lights. I'll show you how it works. We're down at minimum, so watch my Cove Lights. I'm going to double tap here and I'm going to ramp them up using the Rocker. Now you should see that only the Cove Lights are ramping up. Okay, so now let me do the down lights. Double tap, raise the down lights. Okay, see those blue boards, those uh, chalkboards raising? And now I'll do my sconces. Double tap, raise my sconces. So we basically raised everybody to 100%. We think we like that for our new general scene. So I'll press and hold for five seconds. Again, I'm not gonna count, I'm just gonna watch till the LED blinks, and I'm gonna let go. This is my new scene one. So, as you can see, I still have the ability to individually adjust each load and set scenes, but I've cut the wall space down in two gangs. Huge, I love it, okay? We're gonna take this a step further. Let me slide my little uh, mask over here. And now, what do I have? I have only a scene switch. What can I do with only a scene switch? No dimmers hidden in closets, no dimmers behind a credenza, just a scene switch. So why do people want to do that? Well, to me, this is the most powerful solution that I've got with digital lighting management. Every DLM room can have up to 64 loads. With this little scene switch and this LMCT100, I now have the ability to control all 64 loads, set their light levels, and set and recall scenes. So now I'm doing up to 64 zones, four scenes, in one game. You know, that's about the least possible wall clutter you could hope for. I'll show you on my features list here. What's the advantage? Least possible wall clutter. I've actually since been corrected that I don't even have to have the scene switch. I could just use this remote. Now I have no wall clutter, but I gotta keep track of this. So know that that exists, but realize, you know, using a single gang is about as simple as it gets, especially for multi-user spaces like conference rooms, training rooms, classrooms, spaces where there is no one owner. We need a very simple wall control that they can come in, press the buttons, and get the lights on. In this case, it's engraved, general, meeting, board, which is for a whiteboard presentation, and AV. Someone can walk into the space and say, oh, I'm doing an AV presentation. They'll hit AV, the lights go, and they go, that's a little too dim for me. Let me just raise those a bit. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, not always do you need individual zone control. And using the LMCT100, as I showed you with that adjust light level fixture, I can adjust the level of every light that I'm controlling and then press and hold and save scenes. Okay, this is really powerful stuff. So some of the other advantages is simple control for multi-user spaces, I and mean, that's, that's one of the big things for it.